Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Division 101. Last time we did the lesson in uh, Junior Jungle from lesson 1 to lesson number 12. Today, we are going to do lesson 13 to lesson number 24, that is the week 2 activity in our typing club. But before anything else, this is our five second challenge in five, four, three, two, one. To subscribe my channel for those who are not yet a subscriber and click the notification bell so that you will be notified for our new videos in our channel. And then if you like this video, please don't forget to share, like, share it with your friends so that they will know how to use the typing club. So let's start with our work today in our uh, jungle junior so we are here now in lesson number 13 start with lesson number 13 going forward to lesson number 24 let's start lesson number uh, 13 is typing letter a using your pinky so the blank is the space bar Okay, next. Move forward. B, using your index finger, space bar, using your thumb, and you're done. Move next. forward. Move forward. We are in letter C, using your middle finger. Then blank is the space bar, thumb. Move forward. Next. The letter A is a blue key, so it's a pinky key. Mike the monkey is pointing to the letter A. Can you find it on your keyboard? Use your left pinky to tap the letter A. Can you find the letter B? It's time to type the letter C. The space bar is the long key at the bottom of your keyboard. Okay, so A, A, pinky, Tom. B, index finger, space bar, middle finger C, A, space bar B, space bar middle finger C, space bar A, index uh, pinky, space bar index finger, space bar middle finger C, space bar A, space bar B, space bar C. Move forward. Okay, now this is the game that we need to pass, okay? If you can see here, I have only, we have only three lives here. You can see three lives. So careful, we have only three balloons to jump up. So it starts with A, B. So what happened when you will not type? Okay, we will wait. What happened if you are not typing? So it takes about 10 seconds to drop the balloon. If we are not going to type the next letter, the remaining three letters, what happened? Okay, so one life will cut. You can see? Okay, one life is cut. So type C and you're done. Okay, next. Good job. The letter A is a blue key, so it's a pinky key. Mike, can you find the letter B? It's B. time to type the letter C. C. The space bar is the... Okay, A, B, C, space bar, B, A, C, space bar, C, A, B, and you're done. Move forward. Okay. So if you want to check what lesson are you now, all you need to do is to click these three lines here to go back. So if you can see, we are now in lesson number 18. So we have 19 to play. 19. Let's start. C, C, A, B, A, B, C. And we're done. Next.
and we watch a video. Have you ever heard the saying, too much of a good thing is a bad thing? Yeah. Okay, let's take ice cream for example. We probably all agree it's great. But if you only eat ice cream for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you'll get sick, which is not so great. With most things in life, the key to being healthy and happy is moderation. That is, enjoy a little bit at a time. The same holds true for computers. We spend so much time in front of screens that we need to learn to take care of ourselves, or we could get sick. For example, did you know that blinking is a natural way for our body to protect our eyes? We do it 15 to 20 times per minute without even thinking about it. But when we stare at a screen, we tend to blink just four or five times per minute. That's bad for the eyes because they can get dry. Other body parts can also suffer from sitting in front of a screen for too long. Your hands and wrists will ache from typing. Your back and neck will become sore. Even your butt will start to hurt. Worst of all, your mind will feel like it's stuck in the mud. Now here's a quick recipe for staying healthy. Take a break every 15 minutes to give your eyes and body a rest. Get out of your chair, maybe even take a short walk. If you have a window in the room, take a look outside. Now stretch your back, neck and arms and reach for the sky. No, higher. That's better. Because sitting at a computer is the exact opposite of exercise, you should take a more active break every hour or so. Step away from the computer for five minutes. Go for a brief walk around the house, talk to your parents and siblings, or just drink a glass of water. How about a few jumping jacks? When you get back to your computer after an active break, you will be more focused and your body will feel refreshed. Remember that all activities affect our bodies, not just sports, but also sitting in front of a screen, be it a TV, computer, or your smartphone. That's right, take a break. Get active, stay healthy. Your body and mind will thank you, and you'll get more done. Okay, stay healthy. That is why Teacher Debbie asked all Let's you. learn about the letter D. Minutes or less than an hour. This is a big D. This is a small D. One letter D now. Dog starts with D. D, D, D. Donut starts with D. D, D, D. Dogs love donuts. Let's go make some donuts. Okay, so if you want to check what lesson are you now, all you need to do is to click the three lines back. And we are now in lesson number 22. The next is the finger gym, and then letter D, and then letter E is the last, the last video. Okay, let's start. 22. Let's get our hands and Again, fingers finger ready. Gym now. Follow along. Show us your left hand. Your left hand. Well done. Show us your right, hand. your right hand. Good job. Put your hands together and clap like you just saw a great show. For five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stop. Now let's play the piano. Drum your fingers on your desk like you're playing a fast song. Now drum your fingers on your desk like you're playing a very slow song. Now play the piano with just your right hand. Great! Now play the piano with just your left hand. Great job! Next, wiggle your left middle finger for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stop. Now that your left middle finger is ready, let's start typing. So after our the letter D is a yellow key, can start which means it's finger. time to use your middle finger. Find and tap the letter D with your left middle finger. Redo this lesson. Move forward. This is the last lesson. Let's learn about the letter E. This is the last lesson for... This is a one. big E. This is a small E. Elephant starts with E. Eh, eh, eh. Egg starts with E. Eh, eh, eh. Elephants juggle eggs. Let's learn to juggle. Okay, so when you check what lesson we are now, we are done with lesson number 24, okay? 
So this is week number two, lesson 13 to lesson number 24. Thank you for watching. This is David June 101. Till next time, watch again our next video, lesson number, uh, uh, lesson, uh, week number three, that is lesson number 25 and more. Okay? So before you go out, if you like this video, please click like and also share. And then don't forget to subscribe our channel, DB June 101. Thank you for watching and have a nice day, everyone.